is the season of evil. Hey up, it's Steve from the Old Yorkshire Geek again uh, with some more news. This time, Star Wars news. Um, Stephen Knight has uh, left uh, the Daisy Ridley Star Wars movie, Dawn of uh, the New Jedi Order, whatever the hell they're calling it. Um, if it ever happens now, I mean, to be honest. But anyway, this this uh, this story is from Deadline. Uh, Anthony Delasandro reports. So let's have a read of that. But before we get there, don't forget like and subscribe. Subscribe. Share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell if you're subscribed already, then you'll be told when I upload stuff or go live or drop a com or you know, do something in the community section or whatever. Um, explore the, the description because there's various links in there for Facebook, X and Instagram and um, merch and Patreon and all that stuff. You can also become a member by uh, hitting the join button and uh, becoming a member for not a lot of money and then you'll get Early access videos and um, and other stuff. Um, what's the word? Exclusive videos. <laughs> right, so there we go. Let's have a read of this article, shall we? Right, there it is. From Deadline, as I said, Anthony D'Alessandro reporting. Search for new scribe. <laughs> scribe. Or Daisy Ridley Star Wars movie underway after Stephen Knight exit. Uh, and there's Stephen Knight and there's Daisy Ridley. Uh, good things come to those who wait, and when it comes to the future story of Daisy Ridley's Ray, following Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Palpatine, it's going to be a while, a while, as the latest scribe... <laughs> I never see the word scribe, I always think of Austin Powers, Doctor Evil. At 12, I got my first scribe. Anyway, has exit Stephen Knight has exited. Deadline has confirmed the search for a new screenwriter is underway, according to sources. Filmmaker Shamino Bechinoy, Disney Plus series Miss Marvel, which apparently she made a mess of the episodes that she directed, and they had to be tidied up by, you know, more competent people, but never mind, is still attached to direct. When Deadline spoke with Ridley at South by Southwest, um, she was still waiting on a script. The actress said she knew bits and bobs about the new story, that it's likely Rey, the granddaughter of the Emperor, doesn't have any children in the next series. Why would she say that? That's bizarre. Maybe she does, maybe she's doing a double bluff or whatever, which focuses on her starting a Jedi Academy. I, I suspect this film ain't going to happen. In regards to delays for the project, nothing is expected to impact the two Star Wars release dates on hold. Currently there are untitled picks set for December 18th, 2026 and December 17th, 2027. Peaky Blinders creator Knight replaced previous scribes. Well, stop using that word. Use the word writers. Christ's sake. Make me imagine that there is some dark monk monastery or something. Monk monastery. Monastery somewhere with candles and using bloody... Fountain pens, big feather, feather fountain pens with ink and bloody and all that stuff. Anyway, previous writers Damon Lindelof and Justin Brick Gibson. So you know, maybe we got lucky there. Uh, maybe they'll bring him back in. Bloody hope not. On the Star Wars project, this is par for the course for Lucasfilm when they're trying to perfect Star Wars for the big screen. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Knight recently wrote the critically acclaimed Angelina Jolie movie Maria, which is playing AFI Fest on Saturday night, and he's working on the feature film take of Peaky Blinders. I've never seen Peaky Blinders. Never seen it. People say it's really, really good, but I've never watched it. The next Star Wars movie is John Favreau's The Mandalorian and Grogu. i say it again. I hope they change that title, because it won't put bums on seats, which means it won't make money. Based on the hit Disney Plus series... They say hit. How do we know it's a hit? I don't know. I said, well, Grogu's a hit, or Baby Yoda is a hit. Um, anyway. Favreau and Dave Filoni co-wrote the screenplay and Sigourney Weaver and Pedro Pascal star. Brief footage was shown at this summer's D23 that included an appearance by Babu Frick, shots of at on a snowy planet a la Empire Strikes Back, and red alien pointy-eared Zeb, um, was he red? I thought he was like purple. 
Anyway, from the animated series Star Wars Rebels. Uh, oh, is that it? Right, there we go. Um, I'm going to say something. I forgot what it was. Oh, well, yes, apparently. Well, according to Drunk 3PO, uh, J, Drunk 3PO, um, the, the fimi, f- wrapped filming on Mandalorian and Grogu yesterday, or the day before. Uh, the last couple of days. So, there we go. So, I presume it's in post-production now. I presume. So, there we go. Anyway, so they're looking for a new writer on the film, which probably won't happen, to be completely honest. But who knows? They all said that about the Acolyte, didn't they? It probably wasn't going to happen. Or certain people said it wasn't going to happen, and then it did. And then other certain people that said it wasn't going to happen uh, got miffed with me when I pointed that out and blocked me from her channel. But anyway, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Right, even though I've just mentioned it again. Uh, what were I saying? Oh, ah, yes. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll happen. This film. I think they were. I think they were desperate for something to announce at um, Star Wars Celebration, so they just wheeled out Daisy Ridley um, and said, "We're going to do another film with you and get her on stage, smile and wave." Because um, that's that's basically, I think, what um, Kathleen Kennedy likes to do: <laughs> just announce things and hope that they get made. Um, because how, how much stuff have they announced and not made a lot uh, I think they've announced more things that have not been made than they've announced things that have been made but anyway but anyway there we go so anyway, but Stephen Knight's bogged off to uh, pastures new uh, and he's probably happy about it to be completely honest but he's, but he's like a bloody a weight's being lifted from his shoulders I bet, it, I bet he's feeling like that I bet he's super relieved but anyway but anyway, I'm, I'm interested in this, um, this um, I hope they say Mandalorian and Grogu movie, because I've not seen this footage. It, has, it, has it leaked onto YouTube or whatever? I, I, because I've not noticed it. Um, I don't care about Babu Freak. Who gives a monkeys about that bloody stupid thing? But Atats, that sounds interesting. And Zeb. Um, we saw Zeb, didn't we, in, um, um, in The Mandalorian, didn't we? He popped up just in one episode, briefly talking to that ranger chap um, but anyway there we go so as I said I don't think it's going to happen this film um, or if it does it'll not be for a while and um, maybe they will wait until Daisy Ridley is 15 years old <laughs> it's supposed to be set 15 years or something like that after the rise of Palpatine in it so maybe they'll just wait till she ages into the role so they don't have to put any makeup on her from crow's feet stuff like that <laughs> Anyway, right, we'll leave it there. Um, I shall reiterate, don't forget, like and subscribe. That long word there. Um, Share the videos, drop a comment, all that stuff. And we'll leave it there. So, thanks for watching, wherever you are. Look after each other. And until next time, I'll see you there.